Hey, what's going on guys? In this video, I'm going to be going over uh, a 4-bit shift register and how it works in Minecraft. So if we go down here, um, here is the register, the shift register. It has four bits using pistons just to show that the output is enabled. And it has a clock for the input and then a data line, uh, which uses a serial input. And we'll go over that in a second. So if we look at the sign here, it describes this shift register as a 4-bit shift register with a serial in and parallel out. Serial in refers to the input, serial input. What it basically means is that you have one data line representing uh, a word of data, whether it be like 3 bits of data or, I mean, 100 bits of data, it doesn't matter. If I just turn on this, actually, I'll turn this off for a second. If I turn on this line, that did not work. Here, I'll just build something here for a second. So if I had just have a lever here and one redstone wire, this corresponds to one, obviously, and off corresponds to zero. So if I do this in like a repeating pattern, then I can, if you've kind of visualized it, you can kind of like graph it out as a series of ones and zeros, right? And that's basically what we're trying to do here. We're trying to convert a series of ones and zeros from a stream of one redstone wire to a four bit parallel line. And that's what the parallel out stands for. We have four bits, which is the output, and they're all in parallel. And they're, um, they correspond to a most significant bit here and least significant bit here because it is going through the right. So basically um, how this works is if we turn on this clock here, we have these redstone repeaters turning off and on I'll actually turn this off for a second. Okay. And yeah, so we have these redstone repeaters constantly being blocked by the clock. The clock, inf these are technically um, D flip flops. These are just very simple D flip flops. And base a normal D flip flop is built like this. And if it were, it's literally just this. So you can have an input here and an input here. This is usually called the data input, this one is, and this one is usually called the clock, right? So if you have a clock and a data, that the clock allows the data to go through. So if the clock is currently disabled, the data is allowed to go through. If the clock is enabled, then data is not allowed to get through, as you can see. So it's, it essentially acts like a, a transistor, like a switch. But anyway, let's get back to this. So now if we... Um, Turn on this is the data line here. If we turn this on for one clock cycle, we should get one bit of data that is shifted through the register. Now, if we hold this on for two clocks or two clock cycles, we get two bytes of data or two bits of data that goes down the shift register. Now, if we hold this for three clock cycles, we get three bits of data that is sent down the four bit register. Now, the reason why it doesn't like cycle through is because this is called a, a kind of lossy kind of shift register. The data that is outputted at the end is completely lost. It, there's no saving it. Unless you put like a memory system here, then you could probably do something more with it. But for now, this is a very simple 4-bit re shift register using serial in and parallel out. So yeah, that about does it. Um, here's, I'll just look around for a bit so you could maybe pause the video if you need to, to if you wanted to build it. Um, and yeah, this is, and the clock timings are specific. Um, these are two, this is two, these are one. So yeah, they are important because if you were to mess them up a bit, you can get some pretty wonky effects. Like that's on for one bit. Okay, apparently it still works, but um, hold on, let me see. If you change these to like three and you keep this on for one clock cy cycle, Yeah, see, they don't even work at that point. If you put them on for one, I think it kind of like splits one signal into like one and a half clock cycles, which really messes things up. So you can see it kind of like skips like that and it looks really weird. So you want to keep these at two, these at one, and this redstone repeater is set at two. So yeah, there is the uh, four bit shift register, serial input and parallel output. Thanks for watching, and I plan on making more videos in the future. See you later.